All percents are ratios. Let me tell you what that means. Give me a percent, any percent. Let's say 25. Here's 25 percent. What does 25 percent mean? It means 25 out of 100. In other words, if you have a whole pizza and you split it into four pieces and you take one out, you eat that piece, you've eaten 25% of the pizza. What are ratios? What is a ratio? A ratio is a comparison between two things. When you take one thing and you compare it to another. Isn't that what the percent is? Am I not comparing the piece that I eat, the 25%, am I not comparing it to the entire pizza? Am I not saying I ate one-fourth of the entire pizza? I'm comparing the piece that I ate with the whole. I'm comparing 25 things, whatever those things are. In this case, it's a pizza, 25 parts out of 100 in total. So I'm comparing two things. I've got a percent, but I've also got a ratio because of the comparison factor. The purpose of this lesson is to transform ratios into percents. Here's a ratio of green, blue, and yellow marbles. It says the ratio of green, blue, and yellow marbles is 6 to 8 to 10 respectively. And you're like, what does that word mean? What does respectively mean? The word respectively means in this order. Green, blue, yellow. Green, blue, yellow. So I've got a diagram here to show you. Lovely. Six green marbles for every eight blue marbles for every ten yellow marbles. And the question asks us to write the ratio of blue marbles to green marbles to yellow marbles. Did you notice what I've done here? I changed the order. I put the blue one first. So I've got to put eight... I'll write eight blue, dot, dot, green comes next, so blue to green, so green is going to be six green, dot, dot, and to yellow marbles, last, so I've got to put ten last, ten yellow. So if you didn't read this question carefully, you might have just written six to eight to ten. You would have written maybe six first and then eight second and then ten third. That would be incorrect because the question wants you to use blue first. Remember, ratios have to have the correct order when you're writing them out. What percent? Okay, now we're getting to the percentages. What percentage of the marbles are blue? Think about that percentages of the marbles that are blue. First of all, to write any percent, you need to have two numbers. You need a number on top, you need a number on the bottom, you got to divide them, right? And then turn that decimal into a percent. The number on the bottom stands for what? The total. The number on the top is whatever you're dealing with. In this case, we're dealing with blue. So we want the number of blue on top, so that's going to be 8. The number on the bottom is going to be the total. So the total is going to be what? It's going to be 8 plus 6, that's 14, plus 10 more is 24 marbles. So I've got 8, I'll write B for blue, and I'll write T for total. Now how do we turn that to a percentage? Look, some of you in your minds have reduced this. You've reduced this in your mind to one-third. Right? You can divide the numerator and the denominator by 8, and you get one-third. And you've already known, because it comes a lot, 1 over 3 happens so much in math, you already know it's 33%. But how would you do it if you didn't realize you can reduce it and turn it into 1 third? You would do this. You would take your calculator, you would divide the two numbers, um, you would go 8 divided by 24, you would get 0.33333. And you would turn that decimal into a percent. How do you do that? Right. You move the decimal twice. In other words, you multiply it by 100, right? Two zeros means two bounces. So you get 33%. What percentage of the marbles are blue and green? Doesn't and mean plus? Yeah, we got to add them up. 
add the blue and the green, we're going to get 8 plus 6 is 14. So we have 14 blue and green. That's a plus sign. There. Blue and green is 14. But to make a percentage, you need a denominator, and it has to be the total. So we know the total is going to be 24. Let's quickly pop this into our calculator. We've got 14. We're going to divide it by 24. We're going to get 0 0.583. So we get 0 0.583. Three. Now turn that to a percent. You're going to bounce it twice. You'll get 58. Let's move it to the 10th place. 58 or round it to the 10th place. 58.3% of the marbles are blue and green. Now look at the last one. A little bit tricky. What percentage of the marbles are not blue? Well, these are not blue. And these are not blue. So what percentage is that? Well, these are 16 marbles, right? 10 plus 6 is 16. So 16 over the total, which is 24. The total always goes in the denominator. Remember that. Because in percentages, we're always comparing to the whole. So we've got 16 divided by 24. Let's quickly get this. It's zero. Of course, yeah, that's two-thirds. Zero point. See, sometimes even Mr. Melham doesn't pick up right away. He's too focused on explaining things to you. He doesn't think that this is reduced to two-thirds. But it is. It's going to be 0 0.6666. Lots of sixes. We can put a little hat. Let's put a hat on all of them. That's incorrect, by the way. What you need to do is only write it over one of the six, the first one. But for this case, let's leave it like that. And then we're going to have... 66.7%, right? Because that the, the, the six beside the six boosts it up, it rounds it up. So we've got that percentage of the marbles are not blue. Let's finish off with some flavors. We've got a recipe asking for three cans of frozen orange juice concentrate. Mm -mm -mm. Two cans of frozen raspberry juice concentrate and one can of frozen grape juice concentrate. We're going to mix it all together. So here's what it looks like. I've got my frozen orange juice concentrate. I've got two cans of frozen raspberry. And I've got one can of frozen grape juice. Doesn't it feel like you're there? It does, doesn't it? I'm mixing this stuff together. Now, I never indicated this in the question. I sort of ran out of room. But the recipe asks for two cans of water per can or per uh, uh, can of concentrate. Concentrate. Got to write it in three layers. So this is called a can of concentrate. For every can of concentrate you use, you need to add two cans of water for that can of concentrate. So this can will need two cans of water. This one here, two cans of water. So will this one, and this one, and this one. Oh, that sounds so refreshing. That, write the ratio of the amount of juice concentrate used to the amount of juice made. Now slow your thinking down. Write the ratio of the amount of juice concentrate used. How much juice concentrate did we use? We used one, two, three, four, five, six. We used six cans concentrate. To the, to the amount of juice made. How much juice did we really make? We didn't make six cans. We made six cans of concentrate, but we mixed it with 12 cans of water. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve cans of water. What's 12 plus six? 18. Right. 18 cans of not water. 18 cans of juice. Because when you mix it together, it's not water anymore, and it's not concentrate. It is juice. 
Now the next part asks us to get the constant the percentage of the juice concentrate in the mixture. What's the percentage of juice concentrate in the mixture? Juice concentrate mixture. Well, we know how much juice concentrate we made. We made six cans, so we'll write six. The mixture is the total. Everything mixed together is the mixture, and that's going to be 18 cans. And we know, I'm not going to do it on the calculator, but we know this is one-third. I'm not going to make that mistake again. It's one-third, and that's going to be decimal 3333, and that equals to 33% of the can or sorry 33% of the mixture of the mixture is going to be juice concentrate so a third of it the other two thirds are going to be just water mixed in now what is the percentage of raspberry juice concentrate in the mixture so let's look at raspberry juice where is it raspberry raspberry there it is we have two cans of raspberry juice so we'll write two raspberry we'll write r the mixture is the total. So we have 18 cans. 18 total. What's 2 divided by 18? If you punch it in your calculator, you're going to get 0 0.11111 forever. And that's going to become 11%. Ah!